Yeah, you running off, my hands are tied. You coming back, my hands are tied now. We're making love, my hands are tied. I'm waiting on you, trying to play, but my hands are tied now. You running off, my hands are tied. You coming back, my hands are tied. We're making love, my hands are tied. I'm waiting on you, trying to give but my hands are tied now. Tapped out on the scene, throw some shakes, we're gonna branch out on the real. And I got myself a new dummy, call my guy for more money. And as long as I don't be running, things are not gonna get ugly. And I promise you that I'ma cash out. You know me. Throw some Hey guys, what is going on? What is good? I hope everybody's having an amazing, amazing Saturday. In this video, I'm gonna break down 10 tips. That's right, 10, I only have five here, but 10 tips of how to recover from an ACL surgery as quickly as possible, okay guys? 10 tips and I think this is really going to be important and something that I even followed that helped me be able to walk and chill no brace two months out and I'm feeling fantastic I know I can't play soccer but things are going great really quickly though did you guys ever meet Calvin this is Calvin oh my goodness so cute oh my gosh I love you so much, you're adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love you. Oh. Gosh, this is Calvin. He's like maybe one years old. I forget, but he's a new family member. Oh my gosh. Say hi to the vlog, Calvin. Oh, that's Calvin. Just thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> so cute. Alright, guys. So, my first. First tip is to follow up post-op. So what I mean by that is as soon as you have ACL surgery, you're going to be giving instructions, you're going to be set up with appointments, follow-up appointments, and make sure you have that all written down. Especially, be sure to come into uh, surgery and know that you're going to be having therapy the next day or first week i mean it's really highly recommended that as soon as you get out of that acl surgery and i remember in my experience i had therapy the day right after and it served so much help i mean literally i'm not even joking i was already getting massages already getting exercises and so it's really important to follow up post operatively and make sure that you have all your instructions set out so that you can have a successful plan throughout the whole recovery right at the beginning. All right, really quick guys, let's just jump straight into this shot where we got coffee in the morning, just to separate these tips out. So I got coffee in the morning, got some Starbucks. You know, I can't live without my Starbucks. Everybody knows that. And then we got breakfast and that was dank. So check it out right here, right now. Baby, you know 
know that times are changing And I can't go on in search of all these payments Yeah, I'm on my feet and I'm ready You gonna finish that, babe? Mm -hmm. You can have some of my potatoes Yeah! Alright guys, for my second tip is to go to your follow-up appointments. Don't miss out on a single follow-up appointment. It's good to have your progress monitored by a doctor or your surgeon and that will be so, so critical. And I know I keep saying that it's so important, but it is. Because for instance, in my instance, I was doing an exercise that was later down the road that my physical therapist thought I would be able to do. And I went to my follow-up appointment, I told, told my doctor, hey, like my therapist got me doing these exercises I demonstrated them and actually I was shocked I couldn't even believe it but my doctor's like whoa whoa we don't want you to be doing those exercises yet it's too advanced for your progression right now so it's so important to have you go to the follow-up appointments and make sure that your doctor is assessing your progress and making sure that your therapist and your doctor are in good communication so after coffee and breakfast, we went straight to Teresa's house and Teresa's mom was actually feeding her fishes. It was the cutest things. I didn't even know that she fed them. I, I know, obviously everybody needs food, but you know, I, I'm an idiot. And so Teresa's mom fed the fishes and then we went to the mall because your boy needed a new belt. I don't know if it's like, has a guy a little fat, but I, I said I got, I got a little muscular. That's probably why I needed a new belt. But my old belt was not fitting at all, guys. So I really need to get a new belt. And let's jump to that right now. Okay, we're going with these two belts because your boy is a little chubby. <laughs> we got to upgrade the belts. 34, baby. All right, well, let's go buy them. Oh my god! I'm pregnant. Oh my god! <sighs> All right, guys. For my third tip, it's to get a referral to a physical therapist. Like I mentioned. I want you guys to be going to physical therapy immediately. Do not waste time. You need to be going to physical therapy all the time. So make sure you have that all set up with your physical therapist. That way you don't fall back on your exercises. And then point four is make sure you do your exercises because you're gonna be going to physical therapy probably three to two times a week. And that's gonna be nice because your physical therapist can push you. But you also have to be pushing yourself at home doing your exercises no matter what guys it's so important to do your exercises because at first you're going to see slow progression but this is not a sprint it's not it's literally just taking your time doing all the right things that you can and talking about doing the right things that you can it's going to go with tip number five which is nutrition make sure you're eating well and make sure you're eating all the right things don't go out partying all the time and don't be going to sleep at like two in the morning your body needs rest your body needs to be nice and set up for success the next day so make sure you're eating right and that's tip number six too and that means sleeping right because if you're not sleeping well you're not gonna feel super sore the next day you're not gonna be happy about going to physical therapy or doing your exercises at home so make sure you eat well and sleep well all right guys all this talk got me super hungry Teresa and I made pasta with shrimp it turned out to be so good so we're gonna eat that right now I'm so hungry and it's part of nutrition you gotta be eating well I mean honestly guys I know it's hard to change bad habits but when it comes to recovery you really want to be eating well so I've stopped eating Chick-fil-A and going out all the time and now I'm going to be eating noodles and cooking a lot more, drinking a ton of water, just to make sure that I recover properly. 
Also, really quick, I know my guys out there are looking at my shirt like, dang, yo, that's a nice shirt, yo. And I know, I know it's nice. I got Paxton, so you guys better go to Paxton. You got some really good spring, spring. They got some really good spring deals. So check them out. Go to Paxton. I always splurge when they say a dollar for this shirt. That's not true. It's not a dollar. What am I talking about? What is going on in this vlog right now? No, but seriously, they. I got this shirt. And I remember if I got three shirts, I could get like two shirts for free. And same with pants. If you got like one pair of pants, then the other pair is 50% off. So make sure you take advantage of these deals before they're gone. Check them out. Go to Paxson. You know, you know what, Paxson? Give me an offer here. Like, come on, I'm advertising here. And and like throw some money at your boy. Come on, I'm dying out here. All right, guys, tip number seven. We're so close to 10. Don't worry. While this is heating up right here. Oh, snap. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It's done. It's done. Give me a sec. All right, so tip number seven is make sure you take your medicine as it's prescribed. That's right. Follow the instructions of your medication. Don't skip medication. Don't try to... <laughs> take too much of your medication. So make sure you're following your instructions of your medication. That way you are probably doing things and you'll feel a lot better and won't get sick. And I'm telling you that I, those medicines can sometimes make you sick if you like miss one and then go back on another one. So just make sure to follow the instructions of your medication, okay? It's that simple. And also, also how did you guys get in the microwave? Get out. What? Cal, do you see that? What? Why are they in the microwave? Yo, this, this, oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. You guys, how good does that look? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god, look at that shrimp. Oh, did it just jump? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I'm so hungry, guys. We're gonna go see a movie tonight, so I think we're watching Shazam. Yeah, so this would be perfect. All right, tip number eight. Make sure you tell your surgeon that you're having a problem. So if any problems arise or you're nervous, make sure you call your doctor, set up an appointment. There's no shame in just saying that you feel weird or you feel something weird in your knee because they're the specialists. They're gonna tell you to calm down and that way you can just ease your mind and relax, which goes to next tip, tip number nine, relax, find ways to keep your mind off of things. For instance, um, it happened, my injury happened during soccer and so now i don't really watch that much soccer i try to take it easy so the most important thing is now i'm just finding different things to just surround myself with just to take over my time because soccer used to be such a big part of my life and right now i have to put those things on pause because i have to listen to my body and make sure i don't push myself to get excited to play soccer so now i'm like studying i'm just like enjoying the nice weather and sometimes going to the gym here and there just taking it easy and not thinking about why I got injured all right guys I just finished my entire meal like look at that anyway last tip ask for help as you know right after surgery you're gonna be less mobile and you're gonna be in pain trust me unless you're crazy or like Hercules okay but anyway you're gonna be in pain you're gonna need help so I Pick someone out of the family, the one that's the most annoying. Tell them, hey, hey, come here. I, I need, I need your help. And keep bothering them. It doesn't matter. Make sure you get help so you're not pushing yourself and you don't get injured. That is the most important thing. I've been so fortunate to have family members, friends, and my girlfriend. Thank you, Teresa, so much. She's upstairs right now. She's doing so. I don't know. She's done. But thank you so much for the help. You, 
will go over and above all my expectations for helping me. It's been so helpful. So make sure you get someone to help. All right, guys, let me know if these 10 tips helped you out and I will be uploading more things to make sure everything in your recovery goes smoothly. So do not worry, I got you. Pay less attention to the pain. We can push through this, we got this, you'll be okay. Just push yourself, work hard, follow these 10 instructions and you'll be set and ready to go. Also, lastly, let's not forget about the giveaway that I have. I'm giving away Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch to anybody who comments down below this video. Let me know what you like about these videos. What should I improve on? Just comment something below any of my videos. I'll make sure to get back to you on the winner of the Nintendo Switch Digital Code. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a great weekend and let's kill it. We'll be okay. We'll make it. Also, shout out to this camera, the Sony A6400. If you guys love the quality, I'm going to bring this camera back to use because I forgot how nice it was. So let's get it. Let's kill it. Let me know if the quality of this video is something that you guys like and let's just finish it off here i hope you guys have a great day let's do this the truth.